So, so whenever I'm uh, recording, I always have Task Manager open on the other screen, just in case. Like, in case something happens, like something seems to freeze or something, or bugging out, I can just look. Every time I start Smebex, uh, anti-malware, like, Defender freaks out. Well, doesn't freak out, but gets up for like a few seconds. Kind of funny. Hey there, everyone, this is Oka. Oh, okay, you press a direction and you go. You can't stop midway. It's like a smooth map. Got it. Playing a delightful adventure in hand. And last time we finished World 1, and today we're going to start World Let's 2 go. in Coconut Island. Uh, I was told that Coconut Island, yeah, that is World 2, that... There is a soft patch being worked for things such as the sound balance being fun. <laughs> That's fair. I wouldn't expect a fishy plane. Let's just go. I wouldn't expect it now. Like, this is the holidays. Like, I wouldn't expect it to be done anytime soon. Still, Villa. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 3. Can you go on this? No? Can you? Okay, like that. Got it. Alright, so playing zone. Don't swim. That's what that sign says. Is this a proper fish generator? Finally, a fish generator. <laughs> or some effects. Truly, we are embarking upon the next age of fish jumping out of water. Alright, well, so World 2 and the big messy generator like that is fun to think about. Alright, so yeah, here you want to go up there. Be careful. This turtle serves as a barrier. That's pretty fun, actually. Alright, there's a poison if you want it. Good job. Alright, hammer bro. Wow, the hammer bro is very kind of slow. Ooh, I didn't expect you there, buddy. Alright, well, this is where I am. Thought I had a fire flower. I guess I'm wrong. No, I had a fire flower to start with. But I had a mushroom in my bank. Right, just flung a giant fireball to this massive fish. All right, I'm going to run out of time. So devs have commented that no, yeah, it's fine about whoa about using uh, the checkpoint to slightly cheese the boxes. So I'm glad that I got approval. Like it's not intended, but it's something they're aware of and purposely chose not to fix. So hey. It's all good. Alright, so we can get another fireball. See, that's what this generator really does more than anything. Is that, yeah, it kind of forces you to move. And things just kind of happen. And I'm a little afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid to jump to get some air. Or get hot there and get up there. And then get a mushroom that you can't use. Like, I just would not be able to use it. Okay. Yeah, so okay, so we're seeing a slight, you know, but yeah, it's like it's a pretty regular level, but the generator actually does make things go. a little bit more dicey. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and do it slightly faster. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother with a power-up, which might be... Oh, but I will bother with a star, though. Yeah, because yeah, so remember, this is designed for starting from the start this time. Oh, I was bouncing on fish rather than hanging onto that rope. Uh, that led to scary, unexpected behavior. Like, I'm probably rushing significantly more than is required. Like, because again, like, uh, it's just here. Oh, shoot. Oh, get hurt. I'm gonna get one up. I don't need it. I can't do it. I can't do anything with it. It will not be acknowledged by the game in any way that I got that one up as long as I bump the square, but I'm gonna get it. It's important. Otherwise, what are you even doing? All right, we got a green level here. It's Clam Reef. I read it as Calm Reef originally for like a split second. Welcome to Reef Seabed. Well, that is a fast little urchin there. He is zooming. He has things to do and places to go at. And that place is around that square. Look at that clam! Clam Lord! Uh, check that out! I'm gonna get your pearl. <laughs> and I even got away Scott free! Free of Scott. Get out of here. Return to the attic. Where you enjoy yourself and your time. So this is a green star level, but like, well, I haven't seen like a clear sign of what to do about it. Because in World One, the game was super clear. 
Oh, so yeah, so it's out of 11. Like the launcher says it outright. Like there are 11 stars, right? So it's probably one green plus one boss per world for five worlds. And then the post game is gonna have the 11th. That's how it's probably gonna work. Yeah, that was a mistake on my end. I will not deny it. I will admit to it. Oh, Clam Lord is solid if he's closed. Which, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, well, that box content. And I'm glad I got it, because it's the power of flames. Get out of here. Blooper and fish? That blooper is... He's shaken. Shaken and on fire. Except we're on the water, so the fire part got solved on its own, basically. So good for him. Hey, I don't know, like, if you, like, hurt hurt by just touching or whatever. Not gonna take that chance. See, 20 coins, though. I don't have any reasons to risk my life for that. Alright, so we're going fast. Faster than a speeding urchin. Shockingly, I'm aware. One of nature's fastest animal right here. Can't go back. Doesn't look like it anyway. Man, the, the, the watery, like, visual thing on the wall looks real good. That's, uh, that's what I have to say about that. I mean, it's true, though. And those are my thoughts. All right, so I'm gonna race the urchin. And here it's wide enough to have both of us. There we go. Burn a fish, point blank. It's pretty sad, it's pretty disastrous, but hey, you know, it's, it's what we do sometimes. Welcome to, well, yeah, again, it's like, yeah, you can go in the middle, just go over everything, that's fine. There's like plenty of space for it. It's literally built with that in mind, uh, don't worry. Fish zone. Get fished in the fish. Don't make any sense to me. Now I'm gonna go underneath here and dodge all around the place. See, this to me is a signal. When you put a little, like, a little thing like that. Yeah, like, that means something, you know? It's like, hey. Have you considered that the ceiling might not be a ceiling? To which I answer, oh, and here you want to go underneath. See, they do, they repeat the same visual shorthand, but it's underneath and it draws your eyes. And then you see, wait a second, I can see bottom row tiles here in a way that I cannot on the wall right next to it. Oh, that's smart! It's clever! We get a little star there embedded in the wall. It's like it's a special alcove. So sometimes they're just there in the land, and that is perfectly fine and reasonable. Check that out. We're at the end. Get out of here, fish. Get out of my face. You get a prize, and then you get you get one up. And it's like, whoa, one up, what up, what up, what one up. Well, I don't know. That sounded way more confusing than necessary. Check it out. We're at a place. And who's the Koopa Galleon? Who's the... Here, where is? Here we are. It's a boat! It's a boat in the desert. Clomp romp. Uh, clomp that romp. Skull. We got, like, graphics from all the games. Wario, Mario, you name it. I'm gonna jump in that bullet. Check it out, it's dog. Okay, so that's our... Even though these uh, barrels are fairly pale, they are solid. Yeah, see, I, I thought they were kind of like on the same plane as the cannon here, which is not solid. But it's very large, so... Ah, I got the head. I got the head before you could. The result is you died. That is pretty sad. Alright, check it out. I can go down here if you want, but is there a reason to? I don't know. Ooh, this is like classic all-star bullet hill with the moving hands like they sort of like s try to swim forward giving themselves extra velocity it's a cool detail you know if you're a bullet with a face and a pair of arms you would try to use every advantage you could to be better at whatever it is you were designed to be probably so, yeah, you can bounce on this node block there's nothing much to do that's all right how about you I don't know why I said that. Oh, I should have kept the fireball, I feel like. But, you know, the jumping hell is useful. Like, all the time and always. Stairs. Slide your butt on those stairs. Yeah, the cannons, the tiny cannons, like, they're not gonna cannon at you. They're not gonna shoot at you. 
I feel like there's a secret version of this that's like harder and those do shoot like diagonal bullets as if we were playing Mario 3, but not here. Oh no, it's a hammer, bro. Oh right, so welcome to the world of that thing. Here we go. Destroy murder and then you get to get on the mast. Get all the money, look at a tiny flag in a very grumpy island over there. They <laughs> just kind of flop back here. Where's that? Right over here. We missed out on this junk and this guy in boxes with skull on them. That's how you know they're pirates. Alright, so we got... Whoa, hey there, Bonsai Bill. How's it going? You're so tiny in some bags. Like, Bonsai Bill is a presence in the Super Mario world, right? Like, he's huge because he takes so much of screen uh, real estate. So I feel like Bonsai Bill, as he exists in this game, in Smebex, not quite as impactful. Alright, I mean, we did have the world, so although the day is still young, I think it's appropriate to end. I'm gonna end already. No, I mean, we did do three levels, and next time we're gonna do three more levels and finish the Coconut Island. It's like a big desert, it's a sandy island. There are massive seashells. Wanna see those crabs that cause those shells to exist? I don't know if that's actually gonna happen, sadly.